Well, hello everybody. Happy Friday to you. I hope everyone is doing well. I got my tax money pretty early this year. I was very, very surprised. I got my renter's rebate, actually. I don't think I'm getting a tax return because when I did it online, it said zero dollars. So I suppose that's possible. You know, I didn't make a whole lot last year, but I got my renter's rebate. So I went ahead and got a few things that I wanted and a few things that I needed. So my little uh, lamp in the bedroom, um, it's a touch lamp and it was it was really cheap. It was like 12 bucks and it's starting to act up. So what I decided to do was order a lamp with a chain on it, which probably would give me less problems. And I got a pink one and it is so cute. I absolutely love it. And it has the USB port so that I can charge my phone which is amazing because I'm always charging my phone in the bedroom because I'm always playing my games. And uh, when it starts going down, I just plug it in and that's a great thing. And then I decided I wanted to get a spring purse. I wish I had waited because Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty did an Amazon, um, uh, what does she call it? Amazon shopping, you know, and she'll show us a bunch of things that she bought and she, Showed some really pretty purses, but I had already ordered this one. It's the same style as my other one that I had gotten in the fall, the black and red one. So I got the same style and I got it in pink. So it doesn't come out very bright on the computer screen, but it's a very, very deep fuchsia. Really, really pretty. And um, I love it. It's very pretty. It's a flap over. I don't really usually like flap overs, but I love the design on this. It's so pretty. It's got a pocket back in there. And then when you open it up, really, really pretty inside. And it's just got a bunch of uh, different pockets in it. Really, really nice purse and really worth it. I think with tax, it came out to like $27. The, uh, the uh, lamp was um, $21.99, I want to say, something like that. I had just gotten my renter's rebate check, so I wanted to get a few things. So, and then um, i got to get somebody to help me get Winnie to the vet because her coughing is getting worse, and she's vomiting after she eats, and I'm very, very concerned about her, so I don't know. It's tough without a car, but... And my cousin lives so far away, and, you know, her health is not the greatest. And um, so many times we have to cancel our, you know, our trips because either she's not feeling well or her husband's not feeling well. And I know how that goes because it was the same way with Dave. Dave was very sick, too. And it's very hard to leave your spouse, you know. You don't want to be away from them too long because they're very, very sick. So I'll just have to work on that problem. So, um, I will think about that and see what I can do. Anyhow, um, not much else is going on. I've just been hanging out. Uh, I haven't felt like hollering in a long time. I, I haven't been well. So, um, just kind of dealing with health problems right now. And, uh, just hanging out, watching YouTube, uh, watching my beauty channels and, uh, same old YouTube drama, you know, in the uh, trauma community, and uh, I watch Unirock, which is a really, really a great channel, and I like him a lot. He's another commentary channel. I just discovered him a week or two ago, and uh, he's really goes in depth into the shenanigans of the problematic YouTubers like Bullhorn Betty, Molly Go Lightly and um, all of their conniving and harassing people, bullying people. Um, it's just crazy how Bullhorn Betty keeps talking about how everybody's bullying her. And they're not bullying her, it's just commentary channels showing her in her own words and talking about her. To her, that's bullying. No, it's not bullying. And it's not cyber-stalking. So, uh, get this. I don't know if I've told you this, but she decided, she said, she's going to send a cease and desist letter 
to Chatham County Police Department because she does not want to be prevented from attending the court dates for Leilani Simon, who allegedly unalived her son, and she's in jail for it because they found her son. And as you remember, I may have told you that Bullhorn Betty and Molly and the whole Walsh Cow community was down there in front of Leilani Simon's house last year before they found him, and they were screaming and yelling, uh, uprooting the whole neighborhood, disturbing everybody, acting like idiots, and the police were called out there like 53 times when they were there, and they were just a menace to the neighborhood, you know, an absolute menace. And so what actually happened finally was that um, they put up signs the, the city or the police or somebody put up signs of no loitering because there is a law on the book there that, you know, you can protest quietly, but you can't be standing on the street and screaming and disturbing the neighbors. So that got them out of there. And Bullhorn Betty seems to think that uh, she's going to be able to go there and attend the court dates. And I think she's going to have a big surprise when she gets there. Because a lot of us have warned Chatham County Police Department about her. And they are very, very well aware of her and her shenanigans. And you can bet, I can just see them saying, do not let that woman in the courthouse. This is her picture. This is what she looks like. She is not to be in this courthouse. And she seems to think that she can do whatever she wants. And she says, I'm going to be there. They are not going to, uh, what's the word she says? They're not going to uh, prohibit me from going in there because it's my right. You know, it's not your right to do anything. And then she talks about how judges do not have the authority to put gag orders on cases. It's unlawful to do that. No, it's not. This is coming from a woman who says she has experience in the law, law firms and she was a paralegal and she wrote depositions and wrote all this stuff. And then a real attorney comes on to uh, The Glare, I think. Was it The Glare or somebody else's? Somebody else's uh stream and uh, she said no paralegals do not do that kind of thing the lawyers do that all paralegals do is make copies and and do this and do that you know so um if you're interested Bert Toast did a stream on Betty and um actually delved into her work history where she did not find any evidence that Betty worked anywhere in the law firm during her lifetime. And she came up with some doozies. So uh, you'd have to watch her channel. I don't want to uh, do any spoil alerts because it was really quite eye-opening. Anyway, so besides that, <laughs> I've just been hanging out. And um, I hope everybody's had a good week. I get to go see the dentist next week, thank goodness. Uh, get all this taken care of, and then hopefully I'll hear from the uh, specialist about my thyroid, and then uh, we'll see what goes on from there. <laughs> Everybody, it's so good to see you. Um, I will probably be tr trying to do a live today. Very, very briefly, um, I did get a new laptop. I had to because I've got two laptops, but one of them, the keyboard doesn't work, and it's getting old, and the other one is really old and it's just not acting real well. So I got this Asus uh, X515 and I really like it. It's a 15 inch screen and it wasn't very expensive. So um, I right now I'm liking it very much. It's going to depend on how it goes with the lives. Okay. If I do okay with lives, I can keep it. So we will cross our fingers. Um, it's got the Intel Core, which I think is the best for live streaming. And, um, yeah, 
So I really like it. All righty, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.